Hello YouTube, in this video I will attempt to mount this 3-axis D-Row on my little home-built mini mill and I already started off the last time I was in the garage I didn't record it though but I mounted this screen here it was very simple and then I also mounted the scales here for the Z-axis since this one was pretty easy to mount. Just used a piece of aluminum here and this angle that was included with the set. But for X and Y axis I will have to, to make some adapters and I started off making this one last time. Did some countersinking here and some tapping. So I think I will need to drill these holes here up to to uh, five millimeters, if I'm correct. Since I did tap for M5 down here, I think. So let's do some drilling in O1. That will be interesting. And I also bought some some new drills that I will test out. Mounted a. A short one now in the chuck from Ruko high speed steel. These ones are very cheap, so let's do some drilling. Now test mounted the steel piece here and check that I have clearance here for, for this one. It will be a little bit of reduced travel here, but um, that will have to do for some time, since uh, this way will be the quickest I think. So let's try and mount the, the scale. So now the scale is test mounted and still got some some clearance here it's very tight and what needs to be done now is pretty much to make some kind of thing here so that this one will be stuck somewhere so I just tapped the second hole here and well I took the screwdriver and, and drilled two holes or two small spots and then I drilled all the way through and so it turned out that these M3 screws that I had was a bit too short so I had to come up with something else so I put a small aluminium angle and this will have to do it doesn't look super good but it seemed to work so I think that uh, I will try and mount the x-axis like this and I will have to make some kind of angle down here to connect this one but uh, I th so now made two small angle plates here. So let's test mount the scale and see if it will fit. I think I will need to grill and tap two holes here, but we will see. So this is how it turns out. This one here is uh, threaded inside, so I just needed to make two holes and mount two screws so not that hard really but it took some time anyways I think I will need to make some kind of cover over here this one I won't have place for cover but uh, this one is also turned upside down so I think it will be fine 
but this one I think I will have trouble with if I want to put something over here but uh, it can't go over or higher than the table and it also can't engage with the wheel that I will have here so we'll have to come up with something so I will continue with that all right so I now mounted the screws here and I just placed a nut and a washer on the other side and this actually looked a bit better than I expected so now connected a cable so let's see what will happen if we have some movement on the x-axis yes we have So that's nice. I had some issues with the Z axis that uh, it didn't move in the right direction, and perhaps it's the same with X and, and Y axis. So I will have to check the manual again because I actually forgot how to get into the menu, but I will show you that in just a minute. Alright, so the way you get into the me menu, you have to, to switch it off switch the power off on the rear side here and then when you switch the power on you gotta be pretty fast and hold enter while it's booting so I will try and, and show you now so that is how you get into to the settings so I would say that uh, this is pretty much what's interesting for me inside here but I can, can go through the menu here so in case anyone is interested so these are pretty much the settings and then it's just to press enter and, and enter again and then we're back so I try, try to get into the menu by pressing on this one but uh, it doesn't boot up then so I have to switch, switch it off on the rear side so I think I got all my axes now in the right direction so Z is negative when I'm lowering it and let's say that I want to go to X10 table is moving in this direction and it shows a positive value on the screen and when it comes to Y shows positive value when I go in this direction so that's pretty much how I want it and then there are, are some more settings here I initially thought that um, one could change or reverse the axis inside here so I looked around here a lot so let's test out the the, the row and I thought that I will start off with some milling in. I would like to test this little new cutter that I bought. Very cheap. I think it was 13 bucks. Brand new. And it was a bit surprising. This one is made in USA. So I, I wonder how this one ended up in Europe. But I will make a separate video about that. I bought a lot of Sandvik, Imperial Sandvik tooling, very cheap. So, 13 bucks. This one got colon tools as well. So that's pretty cool. And I have ordered a router reunion 
from uh, China that I plan to hook up to the green spindle to test test some through tool coolant. So the value that we would like to see here is 77.05 and I'm measuring 77.03 most of the times I measure. So that is uh, actually very good. So I now try to zero the drill here in the middle and I thought that I will try this little function just pressing down here so what's the radius it was about eight inside here but I'd like to, to be outside when drilling fifteen and how much do we got in between here? 15 plus 4 that would be about 19 so let's type in 19 then ok start angle what do they mean with that? Okay, I see. Let's try 45 and see what will happen. Yep, that was how, that was what I expected to happen. End angle. It's possible to type minus 45. No. And it had to be 360 minus 45, and that will be 350, right? And how many holes do we want? Let's try four. Yep. Good to do some math. Not so common. Right, so I guess that this one will just guide me to, to where I'm going. So this will be fun. That was a grill from Gurry. Right, so let's go to the next hole then. This is only to press here. So now X is where it, it should and, and Y almost, there we go. I won't lock the table now since it's, this is only for, for testing. Let's 
we're in the final hole. Now we're going negative. Or we are going positive since the zero was set to negative. I gotta say worked out just like it should so very interesting even though this font this ain't perhaps super exciting video but nice to try some of these stuff out as well <laughs> 